very good morning i'm in the clinic uh, well i'm outside here parked and i have a pre-anastasia today so it's going to be important day for me oh guys apparently my surgery is happening and it's happening in uh, two days two days it's happening on wednesday I'm trying to uh, put a track back on events, what were like, what was happening and what is the surgery about. It's my first surgery in my life ever, ever. And I'm parked now just outside. That's the um, city hospital here. Uh, and I'm going uh, to walk now to one of the campuses right outside. So the surgery which I'm gonna go for is uh, regarding veins. So that I'm just putting everything in the loop for you. So that's regarding veins, but that's not a cosmetic surgery uh, for the veins which you can visually see. It's for the surgery that uh, for the veins which are inside your leg, which you cannot see, but you might feel something weird sometimes. In my case, I was feeling goosebumps, as if you know you have goosebumps on your uh, skin, but there is as if you have them in your leg. And it was very weird sensation. It was happening occasionally, like maybe once every few weeks. So I um, went for the ultrasound scan and I performed it. And then um, insurance, as you know, it was a long story with insurance. They sent me for the second opinion to another clinic. Uh, they chose um, the clinic themselves and the doctor as well. So now I'm here as both doctors confirmed the same thing. And uh, um, my surgery was approved. And here I am um, two days before. So that was scheduled um, in the end of June and now it's uh, almost mid of July it's uh, I think it's 17th of July today so I'm going to um, see a medic clinic city hospital it's going to be the general uh, doctors uh, it's not vein care and surgery center that is going to um, like Dr. Ali Jawas uh, the best doctor who is going to do surgery on me so I'm going now to walk in and um, as far as I know, it's going to be general questions like what I'm, uh, my weight, um, if I have any issues, any allergies. So uh, there are three types of uh, Anastasia which will be offered to me. So the first one is epidural. Epidural, if you don't know, girls, if you girls were given birth, you probably know that. It's uh, the needle, which is uh, placed into your spine from the back so that you, part of your body um, is under Anastasia, like the below part. And um, I don't want to do this one yet. Um, uh, so another one is a general anesthesia with the mask, uh, which uh, will put you to sleep. And the third one is uh, the vein anesthesia uh, that will be made like a cocktail for you specifically. Um, it will be put in your vein, uh, catheter, catheter, catheter. And that's how, um, uh, that's my preferred way of having it. I'll tell you that I was very nervous initially. I was reading a lot, especially when I went for the second opinion, like for the second scan. And um, I was reading and watching everything I could possibly watch. But then I realized that, you know what, you just do it. And uh, here I am. Um, uh, so I'm gonna go now inside and I'll tell you how it was. Uh, so that's something that um, <laughs> is on my mind now. But I'm so busy with Zoldi I cannot even explain you what's happening there. It's crazy, amazing things and very, very exciting. Uh, one vlog will be also devoted only to that. Uh, so let's do it. Let's go. I'm gonna put my jacket on and we're gonna go now there. <laughs> Believe it or not, the, uh, everything I was showing you, it's the wrong address. So I have to drive another five minutes to another location because that was not a city hospital, that was another place. So I'll go in there, I still have time. I found the address. Okay, so let's go check out my Anastasia. I'll let you know how it was. Well, the hospital is very big, like it's, it's really large. And there are a lot of baby gifts if somebody's giving birth. I received the sponge. It's the one you need to use before the surgery day and the instruction. I am done with the consultation. I'm gonna tell you guys what the anesthetist told me. I've got the sponge to for the shower before the surgery and instruction. Okay, let's go pick up my friend now to have coffee. I'm taking this road for the first time. <laughs> it's like literally you're going to Burj Khalifa. So cool. Guys, now I met Artyom. So Artyom is uh, the photographer and also the fragrance specialist. Uh, he used to take all videos for Zoldi back in time. And so uh, we came to that place uh, connected with perfumes. Uh, it's a cafe. At the same time, that is the beautiful store. The door is behind me. It's like the wooden proper door. And all fragrances here are like Tola, very local and very specialized. They're really gorgeous. 
So the garden here and everything is just so 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 beautiful. We had our coffee, espresso, and now um, getting inspired and chatting a lot uh, about what's happening here. I'd love to make a perfume as well one day. Yeah, and it's getting hot in this jacket. <laughs> Good morning. It's another day today. Guys, I'm gonna show you what I received in this bag from Medi Clinic, and uh, that's what I have to use before my surgery tomorrow. Okay. So let's open this bag. Here inside we have two sponges. So the, the sponges look like that. It's called Dispo Scrub Sponge C. So it's uh, literally this one. I have no idea how they look inside when I open it. So the instruction is that I have to use them both um, tomorrow morning before my surgery i still don't know the time if it's going to be really early morning or it's going to be um, like mid afternoon so that is the instruction from the clinic and uh, here it mentions pre-surgical um chlorhexidine bath so that's exactly what i have to do so apparently um, you just have to prevent oh, okay for the wound infection prevention yeah that's actually very interesting i'm gonna flip camera for you to see so here is what it says to prevent wounds and everything so interesting interesting i have to fast for eight hours before my surgery tomorrow and i suppose it's gonna be still early morning okay let's go make coffee uh, this morning i already woke up a little bit stressed only because it's my first surgery ever and i was thinking for some time if i should share that in my uh, blogs and social media channels or not uh, because it's very personal but at the same time um uh, because you know me guys as cabin crew for such a long time i feel like it's my um uh, responsibility to also show you what might happen and the results of flying for many years i still don't know if flying is the main reason that provokes veins to go be gone under surgery now or not so i don't no let's pick up coffee that's what i care about now <laughs> really really much uh it's gonna be roma today okay i'm going to have my tiny tiny cup yeah. i also have to stop uh, drinking water two hours before the surgery and um, uh, so I cannot eat and uh, I'm gonna spend in the clinic pretty much the full day tomorrow um, I'm gonna have uh, my menu they told me it's gonna be like in business class they said are you Kevin Gru? I said I used to be they said yeah it's like in business class you get your upgrade like you have your menu you can choose whatever you prefer and it's gonna be beautiful beautiful uh, uh, lunch um, so I'm getting my laptop, I'm gonna charge all my devices today uh, just to uh, make sure that I'm, that I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm just gonna feed Nora quickly and I'll keep chatting uh, to you guys. Everything green today, look, my top is green, my cup is green, our bathroom, the second bathroom is green, my bracelets are green and uh, even, no, nothing else is green. Yeah, so I'm a little bit excited. Oh, let me show you. So we got this for Nora. That was the new um, bowl for her with this little cute paws, but she doesn't eat anything from it. So I just washed it and uh, she really doesn't like it because I read that cats like when food is a little bit higher because this one is really low and um, she likes when I keep it up for her, like when she eats. And uh, what I'm giving her today is a fancy feast that's the yumminess she likes so much and it's like super amazing flavors look at her she's already here <laughs> say hello hello to everyone guys uh, my optimism is here still i got a call now uh, that my surgery was moved from 12 noon tomorrow uh, to 8 a.m in the morning so i have to be there two hours before meaning at 6 a.m i have to be at city hospital i don't know again when i'm gonna wake up or how it's gonna be so uh, you will, if you're watching this vlog, so probably you're already seeing uh, later on what will happen. <laughs> it's gonna be either another vlog or um, I'll combine everything in the same one and just post it like that for you. Um, so yeah, it's uh, starting to kick in already slowly. Um, I woke up today, I don't know why, at five, just thinking about uh, uh, how I'm gonna sleep because I have to lay down my tummy down 
as the surgery will be performed uh, uh, on my leg from the like basically outside um uh, do i have to tell you even those details i don't know i would be freaked out if i uh, listen to someone who would have a surgery anyways yeah i think it's uh, it's enough for you <laughs> it's gonna be all fine so um yeah i'm just uh, reevaluating information which i need to study before and uh, that's it so i have my zoom call now pre-surgery zoom call <laughs> so i have here some uh, lovely samples and uh, lots of information um and i have here my most important manager resting So, reporting post-surgery. I've already done everything and now in my room. I'm gonna briefly show it to you. That's one side and here is another side. You have your private bathroom over there. I have table waiting for my meal. So the surgery went uh, all fine. I didn't have any Anastasia except for the epidural that's the spinal anesthesia but i didn't I, I i was feeling everything fine i could speak i was absolutely in the same state as i came here um uh, so guys if you have specific questions please um ask under the video like specific something really really that interests you and uh, i'll try to answer them because uh that's um, like a lot of things to say, but at the same time, it's personal and you might not have that. Um, um, but it's really, really better prevent anything like that ever from happening. And keep on checking your veins. So just keep on checking yourself because uh, even some little issues that you think you might not have, blood tests can show or uh, repeated blood tests. So I've just received my meal. I requested a uh, salmon and uh, we have here Greek salad. Uh, let's see what's here. Oh wow, it looks so beautiful. Okay, yeah, it's time to eat. I start a little bit uh, moving my fingers now. <gasps> God bless all nurses and doctors. I've got my coffee. <laughs> let's check out the view. drinking raising my cup for <clears throat> all doctors here so i'm done now guys i'm ready to go and i have one stocking here as you can see with the toes open otherwise everything is as usual i'm going now downstairs to have my coffee um another coffee <laughs> so everything is okay just ask your questions below and I'll answer you. So that's day number one post-surgery. So I'm in Karibu now. I will have to see my nurse to uh, have a look how everything is going with my leg. So I've got here those stockings. So I'm wearing only one and it's the one that has the open toe um, because your finger shouldn't be squashed. And I don't even know if I can show you. I'll try to show you later. So everything was fine, the night went also easy. The only thing that hurts is my neck because uh, of the pillow yesterday during the surgery. But otherwise, everything is really fine. And uh, as for the spinal anesthesia, uh, it doesn't hurt now. You just have a little bit of uncomfort when you move, so you just have to take it slowly. And for the legs, uh, you don't have any, any wrong feeling, but everything is really, really fine. So I'm uh, gonna get now to uh, see the nurse and I'm gonna update you what was happening, how it was, how the change in dressing was because uh, I have no idea what is under this stocking so I'm also curious myself okay so uh, it's time to go, let's go hello guys, it's uh, four days past surgery so four days ago I had my surgery Nora, say hello baby I think she found the birds as you can see we have some changes in the flat we painted uh, the kitchen also beige i feel absolutely fine and the only difference is that my back really hurts 
when you stay in the same position for some time uh, yesterday we went to watch a movie and uh, i felt like a three hour movie was really really too much for my back and tomorrow will be my first appointment with the doctor post-surgery so he will see me for the first time because uh, it was the nurse who was checking the bandage for me one day after surgery so uh, it's been so it's gonna be five days post surgery when I will see the doctor himself for the first time, and uh, everything so far is okay. Uh, if you don't touch your leg, it feels like you know when you feel something and you imagine how it is. It feels like I have some kind of um, something is happening in the leg, specifically in one of the cuts, because there are six cuts little cuts positioned all around my leg like behind because i was having a surgery on my tummy down and uh, i can't wait for doctor to have a look and tell me that everything is fine everything is okay um, i'm gonna keep updating you on the steps which we need to take further also um as for the medication i was given adol adol um three times a day uh, for pain but because i don't have any pain i only took one in the first evening post-surgery and that's it the next days i didn't take any medication at all so i feel like that's a good sign because uh, i managed to um to escape pain and not to experience it really that much as i could have expected so um all is good i'm really 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 happy with the doctor dr ali jawas is the best i can praise him and i just recommend you to come and visit him if you have some kind of issue and need the checkup especially men because boys were asking me in on instagram if they also should come and see the doctor and i would say absolutely yes absolutely yes especially if you're doing sports and you have a lift so you, you definitely need to come and check your veins um that's it guys so that's gonna be the first long video uh pre-surgery post-surgery and during the surgery um if you have any questions please ask me here below and um, I'm going to make another vlog uh, sometime later just to update you about what's happening, how I feel and uh, if anything has changed. Um, otherwise, um, you can also follow me on Instagram, Skyflag Girl. I started sharing my tips in the reels there, um, how I combine my small business, jewelry brand Zoldi and my uh, post uh, aviation um, time and also how I started when I was still flying as a flight attendant. It might help someone who is employed and want to start their own business and it might also help you in case uh, you are flying as a flight attendant now and you slowly slowly want to understand what you really want after when you resign and how you would like to build up your business to make it scalable and grow it really much also some big changes in my business are coming up i'm gonna share them with you soon we are in negotiation process and it's taking my time it's taken um, a lot of excitement out of me. I feel so happy, this especially past week. So I really can't wait to share it all with you. Thank you so much for all your kind messages. And not a jump, I could hear her. Bye guys, have a very, very nice day. Bye.